want to ask first about the mindset. You know, you admitted earlier this week, as much fun as you were having and smiling, that you were actually very nervous. Um, how did you feel as you were walking in? Because it looked like you were kind of all business. Yeah, you know, um, I had to stay focused. I had to stay concentrated, and I just had to be in the present moment. Um, I'm, I'm coming into her hometown. You know, the crowd was cheering like crazy, so I just had to stay focused on the task at hand. She praised you, of course, that she needed to work on her jiu-jitsu. Did you think that the ground game and the jiu-jitsu would be where you would win this fight? I, you know, we prepared for everything because she, you know, she's still, she's she's a very good fighter and she's um, she's learning and she gets better every every fight. And so we wanted to make sure that we were prepared for for every scenario. And so stand up, ground against the cage, um, wherever the fight would have gone in the five rounds that we had, we were made sure that we were prepared for it. You lost a lot of valuable time, of course, with the layoff. Um, so what What now? I mean, do you feel like you need to make up for that and fight more frequently, or do you want to kind of take things slow? What, what do you think the right plan is for you? Um, whatever the UFC has planned for me, I, I, I'm in great condition. I feel amazing. Um, you know, the year and a half really allowed me to become comfortable in my skin and, and know who I am as a fighter and, and know that this is where I belong. And I, I don't need to force anything. Mentioned, you mentioned it in your post-fight comments about that green comment, which mm -hmm. was, like really started to take off. Was that? Yeah. Were you not happy with the the way that I guess that that comment took off? Yeah, you know, because I'm not, I'm not one to disrespect any fighters, and but I am also trying to be more outspoken and, and honest with myself when I answer questions. And so I didn't mean it as a disrespect. I meant it just as an honest answer coming from somebody that's been doing martial arts for 20 years, fighting professionally for 10 years, and I know that she just hasn't. And you said you didn't want to force anything, but I would think that, you know, you looked so good tonight, and it seems like, you know, you're in, you're in a good, you're in the zone. I yeah. mean, you would want to fight again very soon. I mean, that yeah, You're saying that that doesn't exist at all for you, or it does. It, you know, it's it's whatever whatever they give to me. I, I'm fresh, and so um, I'm ready to get back in there. Is there any particular matchup that you think makes sense <laughs> for you coming off of this win? No, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna enjoy it, uh, enjoy the victory, enjoy my family, enjoy the holidays, and um, you know, get back in the gym. I have other teammates that are getting ready for fights, so I, I want to be there for them because they were there for me for this whole <laughs> year and a half of, as I, as I was trying to prepare. Maybe I missed this a little bit earlier, but but did she meet up, meet with your expectations as far as what she actually showed in the cage? When, when you you said you know she's green, she doesn't have the experience, but what was she like in the cage? Was she less tough than you thought, or did she meet your expectations? I think that me switching to southpaw really threw her off guard, and she kind of I think she looked at me and was like hold up that's not what we were getting ready for and so it just kind of screwed with her head and uh, um, th and that was our game plan from the beginning it was to just you know stop her momentum and, and being able and going southpaw did exactly that was getting to her back part of the game plan too did you think she was weak there with mm -hmm with her defense? No, you know, she's a great scrambler. Um, she's showed it in all her fights that she can scramble out of submissions. So we really worked hard um, on our jujitsu chain um, submissions with uh, Coach Barata and just making sure not to get frustrated uh, through her scrambles. And when she scrambles out of it, either getting a better position or scrambling into a new submission. Uh, and, and then if none of those worked, getting back up, like not wasting any time just in the neutral position. And did you feel her go unconscious? I did not. But, you know, that's how you know she's a fighter, because she wasn't going to tap. Did, does that give you a little bit more of, like, respect for her, or that she didn't? I've feel? always had respect for her, you know. Like, it, anybody that steps into the cage, th and, and you know that they're getting ready to throw down with you, you need to have respect for her. 